Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Shelf the Table. My name is Ian, and I can't cook. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you all know, we've been stuck in lockdown for the longest time, especially us Malaysians. So when we had an opportunity to come out and film outside, we couldn't give it up. So for today, I have a question for you guys. What would you do if you had no time, no cooking skill, and you're very, very hungry? Our name is Shelf to Table. So today, what we're going to do is actually bring food from the shelf to the table and eat it in store. What do I mean by that? Today, we have a few convenience stores that we're going to review for you. The first contender on our list is... Now, we're in the first convenience store contender of the day, Family Mart. And if you're like me, and you have no skill in cooking, and you want something fast and instant, you're really hungry, what would you do? Go for frozen food. Let's take a look. So here, we have the offerings from Family Mart in the frozen food department. We have chicken, we have sausages, we have soybeans, even chicken dim sum. On this side of the store, we actually have some frozen food that the store can prepare and heat up for us in store itself. And that is what we're going for today. Let's take a look. So, to make it fair across the convenience stores, we're actually capping the amount we spend in these convenience stores at 15 ringgit per store. As you can see from my wallet, that's all I have. So what kind of food do they have in this frozen food section? Over here, they actually have some onigiri, which is a Japanese triangular thing with like rice wrapped with seaweed with some uh, filling inside. There's also choices of some rice dishes like there's salted egg, there is spicy Thai, there's also creamy omu rice for those Japanese egg lovers. On top of that, we also have some spaghetti. So we have quite a wide variety of choices. Let me choose what I want and I'll get back to you in a short while. So what I've chosen for myself from Family Mart is actually this salted egg popcorn chicken bento together with a Nescafe coffee milk tea. Now together, these two cost about 14 ringgit and a few cents. So all together, we have hit our budget of 15 ringgit. Let's go and get them to help us heat it up. Guys, I want to share a secret with you. If I had more money, right, I would actually add on a little bit of this stuff because it looks super amazing. They have this double cheese corn sausage. They have these different sausages. Mala sausage, Taiwan sausage. They even have this like tofu strips at the bottom there which looks really good but we only have 15 ringgit at the moment. So now, my food's ready and I'm gonna eat. Happy watching! <laughs> nope! <laughs> I taste pretty nice. I would say like the, the popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken is meant to be crispy, right? But this popcorn chicken is obviously not crispy. It just got defrosted and heated up. But it tastes pretty good. I think something like KFC, you know, the spicy-ish popcorn chicken. It kind of tastes like that. And the sauce is pretty good too. So just to give you an overview of the food I've been having in Family Mart here, I think that the popcorn chicken is obviously not crispy because it's just been defrosted and reheated. However, I'm really happy with the taste of the chicken itself. It tastes really good. On top of that, they even give you these little cuttings of chilli, which kind of breaks up the taste and gives you a little bit of kick to your food. And I think the thing that I was really most pleasantly surprised with was the salted egg taste of the food itself. The salted egg cream actually tastes like salted egg. It's really strong and I really, really like it. So, thumbs up, Family Mart. To wrap up my experience with Family Mart, I would like to say that I really enjoyed the experience so far. I really enjoy how this store is actually trying to become a cafe in which they offer you food as prepared on the spot. 
they have sausages, they have matcha ice cream, they have all these kind of crazy offerings, right? In addition to the frozen food that they have that they can help you prepare in store itself, I'm really happy with how the experience has been and I definitely will come back again. Now, onto the food itself, I was really happy with the taste of the salted egg butter chicken rice. I was really pleasantly surprised with the taste of the chicken itself. It tasted similar to me, like how something like a KFC popcorn chicken would taste. So I was really happy with that experience. I think the only thing that I would say about this experience has been, I think the price for the salted egg chicken rice has been, a, it was a little bit expensive compared to the, the other offerings that they have alongside it. Because the spaghetti will cost you maybe 9 ringgit to 11 ringgit, whereas this one was uh, 11.50 right off the bat. So I think that that's the only tiny little complaint I have. Otherwise, I think this experience has been really wonderful. Now, let's go on to the next one. So now, I have the second convenience store contender of the day for you, and that is... Always follow SOP. So we're currently in 7-Eleven now and like pre the previous convenience store, we're going to be choosing one of the frozen food meals to take and have a bite for you and tell you how the experience is. Now, on top of that, like I said from the previous store as well, we will be keeping the budget at a 15 ringgit cap to make it even for all the stores that we visit. Let's take a look. So over here, we have the frozen food offered by 7-Eleven themselves. New plan guys, there's more frozen food over here from CP instead. Let's take a look. So what we have from CP over here in the 7-Eleven is actually a few different offerings such as stir-fried chicken and chili with rice. We have spaghetti with carbonara sauce and we also have nasi lemak with sambal telur. On top of that, we have this really cute looking shrimp wonton soup. So what I've got from the 7-Eleven contender is actually this. I've gotten a teriyaki chicken onigiri. I've gotten a stir-fried chicken and chili with rice. And I've also got this winter melon by Seasons. So as you can see here, from the previous shop, we only managed to get two items. Whereas in this shop, within the 15 ringgit, we managed to get three items instead. Part of the reason for that is because the food itself is actually cheaper by two to three bucks. So that gave us a little bit more leeway to get more stuff. So now on we go to heating up the food and I'll have a taste and let you know how it goes. Let's go! So I've just gotten my food out of the microwave. And first of all, I would like to say that Family Mart, the staff actually helped me to heat up my food. Whereas in 7-Eleven, it's all self-service. So something to consider if you're looking for good service in a convenience store. Now that my food's ready, let's proceed to give it a taste and I'll let you know how it goes. So I think one thing to note about the food is that the, the meal that I had in Family Mart earlier, the rice was a lot more broken down and sort of mushy, but I think it's due to the fact that it had salted egg buttercream in it. Whereas the rice here, as you can see, is a lot more um, sort of hard and more substantial. But then again, they have actually separated the sauce and the rice itself, so that may be a cause of this. Then again, I'm a kitchen idiot, so... So if you remember back a few minutes ago, this dish is actually called stir-fried chicken with chilli. And I think so far, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. You can really taste the chilli. It's not too bland or it's, uh, it actually gives you a small little kick. But don't worry if you're not really used to taking spicy food as well, it's not too bad. Another thing I would like to note is that I didn't really like the taste of ginger that I'm actually getting from the dish. For me personally, I, I don't really like this. But I think it's a pretty good dish overall. So now that we're done with our stir-fried chicken and chili with rice, we're moving on to my teriyaki chicken onigiri. So my first bite of the onigiri. The chicken teriyaki inside the onigiri itself is not bad. You can actually taste the teriyaki sauce. I think the only problem is that it's cold, but then again, it's meant to be eaten cold, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know. You guys know I'm a kitchen idiot. Let me know in the comments if I if I really am an idiot. But so far, I think that this is pretty good. Except that it's, uh, the filling is just a little bit cold. But other than that, not bad. To wrap up my experience with 7-Eleven, here's a few things that I have learned. Number one, the price in 7-Eleven for these frozen foods or ready-to-eat foods is a little bit cheaper than what you will get in Family Mart, for example. And the quality of the food itself is pretty good because you can actually feel the taste of the food. The rice was solid, the chicken was good tasting. 
I think the only complaint for me, which is not really uh, the fault of the food, is that it's a little bit too gingery. Personally, I think that's a personal preference. So other than that, the experience has been fine. Now, the variation of the food, uh, as per the beginning of this 7-Eleven part, was that it didn't have much variation in terms of 7-Eleven's own offerings. However, they do carry more offerings from the brand CP itself, which is another brand provider of frozen food. Another thing to note about 7-Eleven, which is really good, is that they have a large selection of bread items or confectionery items for you to choose from. So you have your hot dog buns, you have your mayo buns, you have your uh, meat floss buns. Uh, they have quite a, quite a good selection here. So if you're not looking just for frozen food, you're looking for bread as well, I think 7-Eleven is a pretty good choice. Okay, so now that we're done here, on to the next location. See you there. Okay guys, so now I have the last contender of our list for the convenience store battle today. Let's take a look. So we're now in my news, our third and final stop of our convenience store battle. So in my news, um, first of all, you have to make sure that you look for the my news with Maru Cafe, as you can see at the signboard over there, right? Only the Maru Cafe ones will have frozen food for you and you can actually dine in and stuff like that. If you look for My News Cafe, uh, My News Outlets without the Maru Cafe, you will not have this frozen food. They will not stock it for you. So just something to keep in mind. Because we spent the whole of today just going round and round looking for My News. So you don't want that. On to the product offerings of My News. They actually have this uh, Maru Cafe sort of frozen food, their own brand. But currently they're kind of out because they said they, did, they, they don't stock it on weekends. They only stock it on weekdays. So this is the only one that's left and I don't think I'm going to choose it because it doesn't look great to me. They also offer onigiri as per the previous stores as well. So we have a few selections over here. But since I've had it in the previous store, I'm actually going to go for something else in this store itself. Let's take a look on the other side. So other than the Maru Cafe offerings for frozen food that's stocked in my news, they also have this brand called Chimdu, which actually allows you to self-heat the container itself without the use of a microwave oven. It's quite cool. All you have to do is basically like put this hot, the hot pack into the thing and it will cook itself. It's really cool. But for the purposes of this video, I think it's not fair for me to get this, uh, this particular dish because it costs 15 ringgit outright and that will burst our budget for the store. So in order to keep things consistent, with the other stores, I'm actually planning to get a meal, a drink, and maybe some snacks uh, on the side for the 15 ringgit. What I've actually chosen to go with is this quick mutton curry meal. And this mutton curry meal is actually going for 7 ringgit. That means that I have another 8 ringgit to go. So in total, the food that I've chosen here with the mutton curry together with the curry puff and the drink is actually equivalent to 12 bucks. So I have a little bit more money for something something extra special, which is ice cream. Okay, now we all know that ice cream is not cheap. So basically this is the only brand that I could get, <laughs> which is below three bucks. So I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so now my food is cooked and I have my 15 bucks worth of food right in front of me. So we have the mutton curry, we have the curry puff, we have the coffee flavored milk, and we also have an ice cream. Let me test it out and let you know how it tastes. <clears throat> okay guys, so I've had a few bites of this uh, mutton curry, but first thing to note is that this mutton curry is actually non-meat. So I've actually been eating a vegetarian mutton curry this whole time, which hopefully explains why it tastes like Because the curry taste itself, how can I describe it? It's similar to Maggi, Maggi noodles, the curry flavor, except it's a little bit diluted. You know, when you put in too much water to your soup, that's kind of how it tastes like to me. And um, I think the rice itself as well, even after heating, was still very, very hard and very firm. I would suggest something else if you have options, very honestly. So I think that the saving grace for my news would actually be the curry puff because I'll let you in on a little secret. I actually have a my news at the bottom of my office building, so I actually eat this curry puff for breakfast every day. I love it.
So I think the experience I've had in my news has been, I would say, not as great as the experiences I've had in the other two contenders. But I really like the confectionery side and the little snacks bar by Maru Cafe in my news. I really love their curry puffs. That, that part is not a lie. I also like their sausages and other offerings as well. So I think all in all, the differences between the places that we've been to, my news offered like uh, more cheaper options for you to choose from. You can actually get a little bit more stuff. I would say that Family Mart's food is a little bit more premium but it does taste, it's, it's worth the price. The taste is worth the price for sure. Next was 7-Eleven. Now 7-Eleven, I think we were pleasantly surprised when we went there because we weren't expecting 7-Eleven to have many offerings but we managed to get that stir fry chicken and chili thing which was pretty decent except for the ginger taste. So I think depending on what you're looking for in terms of food preference is where you, you would go. If you're looking for more confectionery, looking for curry puffs and sausages, you might go to my news. If you're looking for uh, more premium sort of set meals, you might go to Family Mart. And for 7-Eleven, if you're looking for, well, I guess everything else. So that's my experience. That's my two cents. Now, time for my ice cream. I'll say all in all, my, my news experience, I, I like the ice cream, I like the milk, I like the curry puff. I think the thing that really disappointed me in my news was the main meal itself. Now, I understand that it's not Maru Cafe's own meal, but the Maru Cafe, like, like you saw earlier in the video, I don't think that it looked very particularly appetizing, that specific dish. So if they had more offerings, I might have gone for the Maru Cafe offerings instead. However, they haven't been stocking during the weekends. Um, so unfortunately, this is what we have to go with. So we have the 15 ringgit budget we spent in each of the stores. I would love to know Know what you think in the comments below. Which store would you prefer if you were in the same situation as me? You don't know how to cook, you want to spend relatively not so much money and you want something instant, instant, instant. Where would you go? Let me know down below. So I would say the experience today has been pretty fun. I've had three lunches at three different convenience stores and it's honestly been a blast to show you guys the different frozen food offerings we have in the convenience stores around Malaysia. I think my personal preference among these convenience stores would either be 7-Eleven or, or Family Mart. But again, I, I do realise that my news didn't really have the offerings we were looking for at this current point in time, which is why we had to go with that, the, the vegetarian dish in the first place. I won't tell you which to choose or which is the best. I think I'll leave that up to you to decide. Again, please do let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely interested in what you guys think or maybe your own personal experiences that you've had with these stores so far in your life. So as always, if you like this video, please give us a like. And if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more from us, kindly subscribe to us so that we can let you know whenever we have a new video out. As always, my name is Ian. I definitely cannot cook. We are Shelf to Table and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I love you.